Well, hello everyone. I have a shipment of treasures from my friend Tammy Christofferson. You may recall a while back, Tammy sent me eight boxes of treasures and I did an un a couple of unboxing videos of those um, amazing items. So, seeing as I have <laughs> these eight boxes um, to do a haul video with, that means that I need to do a haul video right now of the stuff I purchased at Goodwill and Salvation Army. So that's coming up next. So when y'all ask me, where's Binks? This is where he's at. He has uh, made himself a new home on this very old, gorgeous vintage chair that I purchased at the Goodwill for $7.49. I just have it sitting in here and just in the middle of the living room because I have to get it repaired. But that's where he likes to sleep. Hello and welcome back everyone. Uh, glad to be back. Uh, I wanted to do a front porch haul video. However, it is uh, thunderstorming right now and it's kind of windy and I didn't want my, my phone or any of my stuff to get wet. So I'm sitting here on my living room floor because this is where everything is at the moment. So I figured, hey, why not? We'll do a living room floor haul. <laughs> So, I have a great haul video for you from uh, Salvation Army and Goodwill. I'm telling you, Salvation Army has been stepping up their game. Um, probably because it was, you know, it was just spring and everybody was cleaning out, but they've had a ton of stuff out. <laughs> My buddy Fritz. There he is. <laughs> Look at my beautiful hydrangeas. Make sure I get this. There we go. <laughs> I love thunderstorms. I do. I just don't, I don't care for the lightning. No. Lightning? No. Thunderstorms? Yes. Anywho, guys. So... I have a lot of stuff here and uh, I probably should have moved it all up so I could get at it. So perhaps I'll pause the video and get everything up here so I could reach it and then I'll come back. <laughs> you know me, I'm never prepared. Okay, I think I have everything situated. So let's get on with this haul because I have a lot of stuff. Uh, okay, first... Um, I got this for my son, and it's still in the um, in the package, the, the cellophane. So I don't really want to take it out because I'm going to put this away for him um, as a little, like, Christmas gift. So I just thought that was really cool. It's a metal, uh, a metal sign. So that's that. Then I got this for myself. I did pay up for this, 
but um, this is that really nice, soft, cushiony. Um, these are bath mats for my bathroom, and they're like a um, they're like a real pale, pale aqua color. So those are for me. There's a set of two. They have the rubber backing. There we go. So those are mine. Whoops, sorry about that. <laughs> sorry. Then I got uh, this. This is such a cool vintage clock, kitchen clock. And it is made by um, Burwood Products Limited. And um, it is... MCM LXXXIII. So I'm thinking it's 19, um, maybe 83 or 73. I didn't bring my little um, Roman numerals chart of that uh, <laughs> one of my fellow YouTubers sent out to all of us resellers so that we could tell you what the date was just by looking at this uh, little chart. But I forgot it, it's in my desk, so. But anyways, look at this clock. How stinking cute is this? It is plastic, very heavy plastic, and it does work. You can see I just put a battery in it. So I got that for resale. I think it is awesome, I love it. Hi, Sophie. All right. So, you guys might remember back, um, I did a haul video from Fuller's Flea Market, and I got that set of salt and pepper shakers, the old man, and then his, his wife. And she had, ooh. Yes. She had glasses that, um, broke off and there was some remnants of the glasses along under her eyes and on her nose and I really didn't have the proper tools to sand it with so one of my friends said get yourself one of those ma those um battery operated manicure tools and it you know guess what I found why am I looking over there I have no idea look at Yes, I found one at Goodwill. So excited. So I picked that up. So I think the color tag for this week was, uh, I think it was green. And this was blue. <laughs> and it even comes with a little case. So I was very excited to find that. So we're gonna try that to sand down the rest of that uh, ceramic or whatever and uh, so it'll be smooth. So I got that. Then I got this awesome Tupperware cake carrier. This is for the nice, the nine by 13 cake. It's in really fantastic condition. So I did pick that up. And this will be a resale item as well. Um, I think. <laughs> I think. I have lots of cake carriers. Um, so I don't need another one. So this will be for resale. Put it back. Ah! Put it back over there. Yeah, let me put all this stuff back here where it was in the first place so that it's out of my way. Those are going to go in my bathroom. Yeah, this one um, one mat uh, needs to be stitched right here. But that's a, that's a quick, easy fix. In fact, I'm going to leave this out so I can do it when I'm done with this haul video. Okay. Uh, then I got this. Um, 
Maybe you guys remember and a couple hauls ago, I, I found these little tea light holders that were the, uh, I believe, is it the oak, oak leaves and the acorns? They were tea light holders. Wow, I found like a matching dish. Look how cool that is. I'm sorry the lighting is so terrible in here. I have no lights in here other than the lights on my end tables. I don't have like an overhead light in the ceiling. So I'm sorry. But there's that. I got this amazing covered candy dish and I just love it. Look at this. Isn't this absolutely gorgeous? Wow. Look at that. It is just beautiful. I love it. I didn't find, the only issue that I found was right here. See this? It reminds me of like being hit with a BB gun. It doesn't go through to the inside. And you, oh, look at that. Okay, now I see, look at, see? This whole thing is cracked right here. Oh, that's a shame. Look at, you could see it better on the inside, I think. Right here. Oh. You know what, though? But this is beautiful. It could still be, it could still be displayed, but that really upsets me. Oh, this is so pretty. I love this. I think I'm still gonna, you know what? I think maybe I'm gonna just keep this. I don't think anybody's gonna want it with that big honking crack <laughs> that's too bad i didn't see that dang it all right um i got another really nice um tupperware container it's got the pretty pastel pink lid it matches the other um a uh, couple pieces that i bought in the past so i grabbed that up you know how i am with my tupperware All right, uh, I should have brought myself something to drink over here. I might have to stop the video because I'm starting to get like scratchy throat. So, all right, I got this awesome set of coffee mugs. And these are like mug and a half uh, mugs. <laughs> these are from Pier One Imports. There, there was supposed to be a set of five, but somebody sold one out of this set of five. So we have, look at this. <laughs> I sold one of these a long, a long while back. <laughs> look how cool. This has got to be about, I would say, 16 ounce cup. It doesn't say on the bottom. Then we have, look at this one, look at the parrot. Oh my goodness. So awesome. We have another elephant type mug. <laughs> look at him. And then the giraffe. How cool is that? I think these are so cool. I love them. I'm wondering what the, the fourth animal would have been. I might have to try and look it up on Pier 1 just because it's going to drive me crazy. Um, 
I got this set of salt and pepper shakers. I just think these are the cutest thing. These are made by that CIC company in China. They make the cutest um, chef uh, decor for kitchens. They are absolutely adorable. <laughs> So awesome. These these guys are French. They're not Italian. They're French. They got that handlebar mustache going on. And they have the French baguettes. Wee oui, wee, oui, poo poo. <laughs> oh, I'm going to go get something to drink. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I am back and I am prepared. Sugar free iced tea. Yum! Okay. Next, I have. Uh, I don't. Let me grab this out. Um, this is a really pretty vintage dresser jar. It has the um, celluloid lid. <laughs> Look how pretty that is. I love that. Beautiful. I got these two Wexford little bowls. Um, I think I found these before and someone bought them. But for some reason, I feel like these are a little bit bigger. Uh, I'm not positive, but I love, the, I love the Wexford pattern. I don't know what it is about it. I just love it. So I grabbed these. These would probably be nice for ice cream, for berries. Um, I... Uh, I was going to say a small salad. That would be a really small salad. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So, I got those. Uh, I found this. This, I love this blue color. And, yes, this is Avon. And it goes to the, um, the uh, two large goblets that I found with George and Martha Washington. Um, I don't know the name of the, um, the set, but it is Avon, and this one has a train on it. Is that a train? No, that's not a train. It's a building. What is that, the Capitol? No, not the Capitol. The, um, oh my gosh. Oh, I forgot. It's not the capital. Um, oh, dang it. Yeah, I did real well in school in history. <laughs> not. Hmm. Alrighty then. I got these. These are gorgeous. Cobalt blue soda glasses ice cream soda glasses these are gorgeous look at these oh my word i love them i do not see oh wait a minute is that a mark it does have something on the bottom Anchor Hawking. It's an anchor. These are Anchor Hawking. I think these are gorgeous. I love them. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll just leave them right there. I got this. This is like brand new in the box. Um, it is a petite... Mason by Wildly Delicious. It is a goat cheese baker. So this is the box. And then inside, 
is this. So you have this little uh, like tub and then it has this piece that fits inside. It sits in the bottom and then you put your goat cheese in there and you put the lid on and you put it in the oven. And it also comes with a little wooden server. Isn't that neat? I thought that was awesome. And I'm like, I know there's a lot of people that love goat cheese. I love goat cheese. So I thought this would make a really nice gift for someone. It's brand new. So I definitely had to pick that up. So there's that. Very cool. Um, I found, where is that other little, um, oh, it's probably over here in this box. Um, I found this random little um, redware salt or pepper shaker. It's a kitty. But he was missing his mate. But I got him anyway because, you know, he would be a cute little figurine. I have a set of these already, so, um, yeah. So I got that guy. I got this set of Fire King bowls. I remember our next door neighbor um, had uh, the cups that are the same pattern as these bowls. Remember the coffee cups? They came in the green, orange, blue, and I think Harvest Gold. But yeah, they're Fire King. I don't know if you could see that. Probably not. I can't even see it. Holy hell, the lighting sucks in here. Yeah, Fire King. Anchor Hacking Fire King. So there's those two and... Two more um, green ones, but these are lighter green. Oh no, they're they're the same. This one has more of the darker green. So I got those. I thought those were pretty cool. Oh, this little guy, he is absolutely adorable. Now he has been repaired, but that didn't bother me because he's so cute. But then I brought him home and when I took the sticker off, it took his paint off. Look at this little guy. How adorable is he? Look where the sticker was. So this is where he was repaired. I don't know if you guys can see that little circle there. That's where he was repaired. And I'm thinking, so what? You're not even going to see that. It's in the, you know, it's in the back on the side. And then when you took the sticker off and that happens, then I was like, oh, you know what? Scratch and dent sale. I mean, I can fill that in you know, with, with a, a black Sharpie, but it's just not the point. Oh, brother. This is very cool. Uh, I'm assuming it is a Japan piece. And all the flowers are intact on this. I can't even believe it. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? And then look at how pretty is that? No markings on it, nothing on the bottom, but it's probably, it's, it could be Japan. Um, it's a little, it's not heavy, but it feels heavier than a normal Japan piece. So maybe it isn't, you know, but it's very, very pretty. All right, uh, let me see. Okay, so I grabbed this. This is just gorgeous. Oh my word, 
Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? No, no cracks, no chips, just beautiful. Uh, no markings on the bottom, no stickers, nothing. I love that. So pretty. I got these two uh, Japan pieces. These are the, the Hummel wannabes, but I got them because they're in such fantastic condition. And I knew someone would love these. Look, the colors are awesome. Japan. So let me show you one at a time. <laughs> They're so pretty. There's this one. So I grabbed those. I love those. I really do. I think they're so pretty. Uh, I found another chef um, item. This one is a uh, probably for oil, olive oil. Look at this guy. <laughs> He's another wee wee poo poo. Oh. <laughs> Oh my gosh, look how cute that is. I love it. So cute. Oh, I want to stretch my legs out, but I can't because now Sophie has taken over my two bath mats. She's now laying on them. She's nice and comfy. She kneaded away and then pff, spread out. Are you comfy there, Soph? Hmm? Yeah. Then I got these three glasses. These are not marked, but I love them. Oh my goodness. Aren't those awesome? I have a set of three of those. Love these. Love these. They are fabulous. All right, if I put these back in here, perhaps I can stretch one leg out. All right, that's not going to work. Let's just have a sip of iced tea. Okay. Pardon me. All right. Found another awesome clear uh, stretch face. Look at that. Matches almost identical to one I recently sold. No cracks, no chips. Very, very pretty. Bringing back the clear glass. Yes, indeed. I have quite a few clear glass pieces. I got this gorgeous uh, side table uh, nightstand water carafe with the matching glass. This is etched depression glass. Look at that beautiful I love it gorgeous all right let me put this back in here as well you know what the neighbors it's the neighbors I'm just trying to set these back in here so I can perhaps sorry guys okay 
this I can set on top of here. There we go. All right, Sophie, honey, I got to stretch my my leg out. Hi. Oh, thanks. <laughs> She's like, okay, I'll move just a little bit. All right. Um, then I got, okay, so this is the last, the last item from Goodwill. I got this amazing, look at this. This is an elegant depression glass. This is a drink, like a, um, mixer you would you would it would have probably come with a glass stir you know uh drink stir but it did come with six matching glasses and these are in perfect condition no cracks no chips no flea bites nada every single glass is in perfect condition and so is this gorgeous gorgeous set yes indeed just beautiful i just have to wash it um but yeah i mean it's in they're all in perfect condition i can't even believe it here i'm thinking oh i'll bet you anything that there's going to be chips or flea bites or something on, on some of this. And I couldn't believe it, but every single piece was in perfect condition. So I was pretty happy about that. So, um, oh, and then there was, uh, actually, this I did not get at the Goodwill. This is from the Salvation Army. I just remembered because... It came with another misfit um, shaker. So this guy is from this box. Oops. Yes. So that is everything from Goodwill. I spent $93. And that is not bad at all. Not at all. So, I think I done fantastic. So, there you have. Oh, and there was one other item from the Goodwill haul that was a Christmas item, which I will be saving for my uh, my Christmas in July sale. Uh, speaking of which, um. I don't know how many of you are aware. I do need to have surgery to repair. Um, I have a full tear of my rotator cuff in my right shoulder. So I will be having surgery on my shoulder July 14th. So I am going to have my Christmas in July live sale on July 10th, which is a Saturday. July 10th at 3 o'clock Eastern. It's my normal Saturday sale, but it will be all Christmas items. So I just wanted to fill you guys in on that. I have a runny nose and no Kleenex. Sorry. Um, I have shorts. So I'll just wipe it on my shorts. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's move on to the Salvation Army. Okay. I did show this item on Instagram. So for those of you that don't have Instagram, you did not get to see this. Look at this gorgeous picture Oh, my word. And it works. I plugged it in. The bulb works. Works perfectly. I cleaned her up. Yeah. I do find some amazing religious pictures. And it also has, it also has, 
If you don't want to hang it on the wall, it has this. So you could sit it on a, um, on like a buffet or, you know, whatever, instead of hanging it on the wall. So we got that. Okay, let me set this over here. Uh, I'll set it on top of there for now. All right, so this was the other little uh, shaker. I'm so mad that it didn't have its um, mate, but it is an anthropomorphic pineapple. <laughs> Look how cute. Now it has a, um, it has a chip, you know, down here. But I don't care. It's just adorable. And I collect the anthropomorphic um, salt and pepper shakers. So this will just blend in with my others. And they just paired the cat with it and said, you know, it said whatever the price was um, times two. So, you know, you get what you get. <laughs> Then I got this awesome restaurant ware. Look at this cup and saucer. Look at that. It is in perfect condition. And this is Syracuse, China. And um, they, of course they wrote on it in marker, but it does say Syracuse, China. And I don't, I swear this was like not even used. Because I don't see any scratches or anything. It's like brand new. So for those of you who really like restaurant wear, this is a nice set. Now this is gorgeous. This is hand-painted Nippon, and it is extremely damaged. But I bought it anyway because I thought this would make a beautiful planter. Look at this. Now, it had a lid at one time, which is long gone. Okay. Now, as you can see, it is very cracked and glued back together terribly. But as I said... This could be used as a planter, and if you're worried that it may leak, you know, you could set up like a, a plate or something underneath it. I mean, that would be beautiful with a plant in it. It is gorgeous. So, and it was, um, yellow tag was 99 cents, so I only paid 99 cents for it. It was green and blue, 50% off. Yellow was 99 cents. So that's why I bought it. So there you go. I did purchase this for whoever has a birthday in October. Um, this is a Royal Albert. Um, I'm assuming it's a birthday cake plate. It's gorgeous. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Perfect size for a round cake. So I got that. I also got this. Um, this, again, I have to scrub this up. Now, it does have um, a lot of wear on it. Um, I didn't really notice how much wear, but I do notice now. Is this um, awesome. Now... Uh, this is Fire King, and this is the Gay Fad um, painting. But over here would have been grapes, and those have been worn right away. Same thing on this side. So um, I'll probably just keep this for myself, seeing as I do have a bunch of uh, matching pieces. So I did get that. Unfortunately, I mean, if it would have had the grapes on there, then it would have been a resale item. But what can you do? All right. Um, speaking of 
stretch glass vases or whatever you would like to call them. I got another one. That's a nice size one. That's pretty tall. That's got to be at least 12 inches, maybe 14 inches. It does have some of the cloudiness down here. Um, I don't know if that is going to come out or not, but still a beautiful, beautiful vase. Love that. All right, let me pull this box open. Um, oh, and I forgot to show you guys from the estate sale. I had purchased uh, two brooches at the estate sale and I totally forgot to show them because they were in my purse because I didn't want to lose them. So I will show them to you now. There's this one. That is gorgeous. And this one. This one is missing a giant stone. I just realized that. Dang it. Oh, well, it could be used uh, for jewelry art, you know. How did I not notice that the stone was missing out of there? I am really losing it. I really am. How do you not notice that gaping hole right there? <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, let's see. Oh, I did find, uh, for you jewelers out there, I did find a beading um, board. Uh, these are awesome for making necklaces and bracelets. I have one already, so this will be for resale. Um, I got this for myself, a uh, weed eater um, line. <laughs> Heck yeah, two bucks all day long, I'll grab it. Heck yeah. Oh, I got these for my friend Larry. Um, San Francisco, I left my heart in San Francisco. I left my voice in the toilet. <laughs> yeah. This one as well. <laughs> yep. I don't even sing in the shower, folks. Hell no. You think I want the neighbors calling the cops? Disturbing the peace? Oh, look, here's the stone. No wonder why it just fell out. Oh, I don't feel so bad now. All right, I can glue her right back in there. There it is. Yay, woohoo. <laughs> Yay! All right, we'll glue that baby right back in. All right. So, next, I got these. These are awesome. How many bowls are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six of these uh, melamine bowls. So I got 12, no, uh, 10. Oh, this one's got a little chip on the, on the edge there. But I don't care. There's 10 of them. These are really nice. Got those. The, this is really cool. These are coasters, and they're called the Butch Art, Butch Art Gardens. They have cork backing, and these are in, like, excellent condition. 
There's this one, this one. Yeah, these are really, really nice. So I picked those up. Very, very nice. Um, one of my um, subscriber friends, sister, collects like paper mache type figures. Um, I forgot whose sister she is though. Dang it. But anyways, look at this piece that I got. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And it is. It's like paper mache. And it's it's for it's a candle holder. Look at that. Um it doesn't have a maker mark on it or anything. So I don't know. That is very cool. I got this awesome turtle planter. Look at. Look how cute. <laughs> he is adorable. He's made in China. How stinking cute. Now, originally, I thought he made a, he, he made a, he might have come with um, a shell, you know, his shell cover, but no, he is actually made to be a planter. So, I got that. He's awesome. I love it. Then I purchased, oh, this is a Christmas item. You can't see that. Now, here's a little story for you. I was um, standing at the checkout and this cute elderly lady uh, comes in with her husband and she's telling the girl, we have, um, we dropped off some donations in the back right by the door because nobody answered the, the doorbell. And so she saw me with this in my cart, this beautiful tin, right? And she says, oh, I just donated three of those last week. She said, um, those are over 40 years old. She said, um, I forgot where she said, somebody bought them for her mother Something came in them. Uh, made in Western Germany. It says, Hiller's Solingen, made in Germany. I can't remember if it was candy or what, but something came in these. And it has a hinged um, lid. And it's in really fantastic condition. I mean, it really is. Uh, it's, you know, I mean, it's got a couple little, like a little boo-boo there. But for the most part, what a gorgeous tin this is. Just beautiful. So she said, I'm so glad that someone's going to give it a new home. She was really cute. So... I got this game um, for half price. It was $4.99 regular price, so green tags were half off. It's called It's in the Bag, and it, it looks to be brand new. Everything is still sealed. So I was going to look it up on eBay and see, you know, if they sell for anything. Um, if not, I'll just keep it and I'll use, you know, bits and bobs out of it uh, for pack package toppers. But, um, yeah, I actually meant to look it up when I was in there and I totally forgot. So I just, I bought it for $2.50. Why not, right? So I did pick that up. 
And then my last bit of stuff, I found all of this Hazel Atlas stuff. Let me show you. So we have, we have a creamer and sugar in this terracotta co um, color. And I saw the, the, the HA on one of these pieces. Oh, this one, the cup. I got the cup. And on the cup, it has the HA. There it is. And then I got two more sugar bowls in this beautiful yellow color. It's like a golden yellow, harvest gold, you know, color. Two sugar bowls. And then I got two more sugar bowls in the terracotta color and another creamer. So we got um, a creamer, two creamer and sugar sets in this color plus an extra sugar. So I got all of those pieces. So those were cool. I tried to look around to see if there was um, a creamer that matched this, but no dice, no dice, dang it. So I thought, you know, these are nice pieces. I mean, you could use these for sugar bowls or I mean, you could use them for little planters you can use them to put your toothbrushes in in the bathroom, Q-tips, cotton balls, um, paint brushes. There's all kinds of uses for these. So that's why I picked them up. So there you have it. So that is that. Let me put that over there. I'm just trying to put the stuff back in the box for easy carrying. All right, so let me put that in there. That's going to go in my Christmas sale. So that's everything from the Salvation Army. Um, I spent $76.43. $76.43. So... Let me know what you guys think about what I purchased. Um, did you like everything? Um, you know, oh, wait a minute. There's two more things that I forgot about. I'm sorry. They were sitting over here. And I done missed them. I got this adorable Redware. I think it's Redware. No, maybe it's not. No, it's not. It is not Redware. Um... I'm not really sure. It's definitely pottery. Um, this adorable little train planter. And I mean, it is in fantastic condition. Um, I don't see any chips. No chips anywhere. The paint is in fabulous condition, except for right here. Yeah, oh my gosh, I can't believe I almost forgot that guy. And I got this because it is so stinking cute. Um, so this is a bride and groom and it's 1984. By Bialoski, exclusively Hummel. Oh, for crying out loud. Hummel something. Made in Japan. And it is this adorable bride and groom. Ted and Ginger, somebody put on there. I just noticed that. <laughs> and it does play music. And I can't remember what song it plays. It works. But um, let me show you the, see if you guys can see that. Hummel something, it says. 
I can't make it out without my magnifying glass, but that is absolutely adorable. I had to grab it. It's so cute. So, uh, that is everything now. <laughs> yes. Checking around the box. Nope, everything's good. <laughs> you know me, I always forget something. Yeah, so that is everything, guys. So I really hope you enjoyed this haul video. Um, I received eight boxes of, well, you saw in the beginning of the video, eight boxes of just treasures from my friend Tammy Christofferson. So there will be some unboxing videos coming up for those. Um, I am so excited about it. You have no idea. Tammy, I just can't thank you enough. This is going to really help out um, with having uh, merchandise for my live sales because, um, you know, I'm not going to be able to drive once I have the surgery because if your arm is in a sling, you're not allowed to drive. So, um, I, the only way I'll be able to go thrifting is if someone drives me. So, um, anyways, I just thought I would mention that. So, um, look forward to those videos coming up. Also, I have my live sale tomorrow, 3 o'clock Eastern. And on Tuesday, Jackie and I are having our um, scratch and dent sale. Uh, it's at 6 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Um, I can't remember whose channel it's on. I think we did it on Jackie's channel last time. And if we did, then it'll be my channel. So, I don't know. But there will be little uh, promotional flyers that Christy always makes for us um, floating around. So, uh Either way, you will you will know where to watch it. So on that note, guys, I'm going to get going. Um, I got a few things that I want to get done uh, after this haul video. So thank you so much for watching. I want to thank all of my new subscribers uh, very much for subscribing. And a very big thank you to all of my current subscribers. You guys are awesome. Um, getting a little closer to that 10,000 subscriber mark. I, I'm, I'm at 9,600 and something. So another like, you know, 380 something maybe. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right, everybody. Take care and I'll see you in the next one.